All right, yesterday we had the races and it was so much fun. So nice to catch up with people and celebrate with people and support people. But for people who don't know, Tom's actually an equine physio. He um, treats horses, um, like he specializes in race horses, but he treats horses of all different backgrounds. Um, Tom, um, without me knowing, went and put um, some money on a horse called Sugar Bella and gave me the ticket and said, you know, this is for you. If you win, this money is yours. And amazingly, um, and I would like to put out that I'm not a, a gambler at all, um, amazingly the horse won, it came first. And I went to go and collect the winnings and basically Tom like doubled the money. And you know, obviously it was really exciting and great, but I didn't feel comfortable keeping the money. Um, it w wasn't my money in the first place. I wasn't taking a risk with that money. And I didn't feel like I deserved it, even though like obviously together Tom and I manifested that. So when we got home that night, like last night, um, I handed the money back. And the moment I handed all that money back, I felt this huge relief. And it was, I was like, what is that? And I, was, and I realized it's because what else I really respect and honor the flow of money, I also really respect the source of money. And I think in doing Manifesting March, the way that you receive money must be aligned to your value system. Now, um, I don't have a problem with gambling I think, as long as it's done responsibly and it's simply a form of entertainment and you never put, gamble what you're like more than you're willing to lose. Like when you do gamble, think of that money going. It's pure entertainment um, so that you don't have any conditions or pressure put on you. But this was really important for me to, to be, become aware of the importance and the respect of the source of it and making sure it's aligned to who I am and what I stand for. So if you're doing Manifesting March, make sure that you respect the source as well. Also, today being Sunday, I really want to make sure that I'm hustling and rustling up as much manifesting magic as possible. So I have put together a whole pile of stuff that I want to sell and I'm going to put stuff on eBay, I'm going to put stuff on Gumtree, I'm going to put stuff on high end. But I have to be honest with you, I've been procrastinating for this for so long. But you know what? Enough's enough, a lie in the sand. I'm just going to simply do it. Stop making it out to be a bigger job than what it really is. And you know what? With all the apps these days, it's actually really quick and easy. I'm making it to be a bigger job than what it really is. All right, so if you're doing manifesting March, quick way to make some money is to sell stuff that you simply do not need and you'll enjoy freeing up the space. Okay, I can feel the procrastination, like the excuses like rise up in me thinking, oh, look, it's Sunday, I should maybe do this later tonight or, you know, I don't really need to do this um, or it's not worth my time or I won't get much money for it. So to tackle this, I am thinking about what it's going to feel like to have that money. Focus on the feeling of seeing that my thousand dollar project bank account grow in value by like at least even just a couple of hundred dollars would be great. That is going to be really satisfying. So I'm focusing on that that feeling and that sense of reward. I'm also um, have said to myself like don't try and sell all of it. Just try and put at least ten things on um, either eBay, Gumtree, or high end. Doesn't matter where. Just just get three sorry ten things out you know, available to be purchased. And so that's also helping. And also I am just about to switch my um, phone on airport mode, so airplane mode, so that I don't get tempted to like jump on social media or look on Facebook or clean my emails. I'm just gonna focus on like shutting down and just focusing and just as Nike says, just do it. Oh, and also I'm focusing on or getting excited about being able to appreciate the space that's going to be freed up and created by like decluttering and getting like rid of stuff that I don't value anymore, which actually is quite a big um, pleasant feeling alone, regardless of the money. Right, so I did it. I put the 10 things on like online, I, eBay, Gumtree, buy, swap, swap, sell. I sold three things already and I have $260 cash already available to put into the $1,000 project account. Now, I don't know why I made it up to be such a big deal in my head. Um, it didn't really take that long. And when I finally did the 10 things, I got on with my weekend and enjoyed it, knowing that I did my chores, so to speak. Now, also I realized seeing all that cash in my hand is really satisfying. And it's actually inspired me to now go through the home and try and find more things that I can list or put online um, for sale um, during the week. So keep posted on my Facebook page because I will be sharing with you guys exactly what I'm selling and what I'm getting rid of.